welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I am so nervous. I, I know that sounds ridiculous because all we're doing is opening up a box, but I, I, I'm struggling for words on this one. <laughs> um, and that's not like me. Normally I don't shut up, but I am, <laughs> I'm really, really nervous. I am so, so nervous. Um, Okay, this this just arrived. This is a true unboxing. I have not been in this. I promise you it has not been opened. I have just taken it out of the box and the bubble wrap seconds ago. I got this from Dear Lux on Instagram and it has arrived very, very quickly. In fact, I was surprised how quickly it has arrived from Hong Kong. Um, it was wrapped in the prettiest heart bubble wrap which I've never seen before and is really quite pretty and I'm waffling because I'm so nervous um okay let's just I, I can't I can't even I can't even open this box I know there's drama over here but <laughs> if you watched my recent wish list video you may get a little bit of an understanding why I'm having a verbal breakdown over here in the corner of the YouTube. So, ordered it from uh, Dear Lux. I have actually never had or owned the item that is in here and I'm nervous about that because it's a little Dear Lux sticker. Um, it was one of the items that I would have always said wasn't for me. And now this item's sitting on my knee <laughs> and I'm very nervous. So, oh my goodness, okay, all right, okay. Ah! <gasps> okay, I've had a sneak peek, there's a sneak peek, peeking, peeking, I can't even speak. I just can't, I, 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 okay. Thank you so much for shopping with us. Enjoy your stunning. Mm, and then the Dear Lux, Dear Lux, I can't, I can't, oh my goodness, the Dear Lux card, okay. Are you ready? I'm not. Ah Do you see it poking? I, I have reached a decibel level that my dog's gonna be running up here again. Do you see it poking out? I, I just, oh my goodness. I'm so nervous. The reason that I am so nervous and I'm having a bit of a moment. If you watched my wish list video, top of my wish list was the Chanel 19 in this hound's tooth tweed in the small 19 bag. I cannot find that bag anywhere. And I know that I talked about in a lot of my videos, whenever you're looking for a dream bag or saving for a dream bag, I talked about patience and waiting for the bag that you actually really, really want. In my luxury regret videos, I have also talked about not waiting for the bag that you really, really want and then regretting it. I've talked about, for an example, of this bag. I bought the medium classic flap because I couldn't find the mini, but I really wanted the mini. Sold the other one because I found this. I have also previously bought a square rectangle, a square mini, which doesn't work for me when I wanted the rectangle and then the square didn't work. In this case, I cannot find this tweed and I really, really am obsessed with this tweed. So that is one of the reasons why I have bought this. The second reason why I have bought this is on the resale market. The Chanel 19 in this tweed, if it comes up and if I'm able to find it, is selling for in and around £6,000. So maybe around about $8,000. It might come in with the exchange rate being slightly less than £6,000. But that is a huge amount of money. That is, that would be, if I could even find the bag, the most expensive bag that I have ever bought. £6,000 or £5,900 for a small Chanel 19. Now crazy over here, if I seen it, I, I don't know what I would do. I don't know if I could be trusted with the keyboard. But when I saw this walk, and I have never had a walk before, and I'm blabbering so I'm telling you what it is. When I saw this walk and I saw the tweed, how pretty the tweed is has just shut me up. Ah! <sighs> so when I saw this walk in the tweed, I thought I am going to try that because I'm obsessed with the tweed. 
it has another part to it which I, which I actually really, really liked and drew me to this bag. And I thought I am going to try this and see if having this walk can stop me wanting the 19 because I already have, where is it? There's, there's a 19 up there, I think. Oops, oh there. I already have a 19 in the black leather, so I already have a Chanel 19. I am hoping that this, I, I'm hoping I love this so much with this beautiful tweed that it stops me hunting for the 19 because that's a huge amount of money. And one, I can't even find it, but if I find it, I know it's going to be around about that price. So let's get in. Oh my goodness. Now, I always thought a walk wasn't for me. Um, I know I love mini bags. Oh, wow. 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 This tweed. Now I know why the Chanel 19 is 6,000 pounds. This tweed in real life is something else. This, look, look at her. This tweed is just something else. It's absolutely stunning. It's, it's actually taking my breath away a little bit and it's, it's actually almost rendering me speechless, which if you've watched my videos before, I have a problem shutting up and it's, this tweed is something else. Like I can, I can see why the obsession with this bag is so real and why the demand for this bag is so high and demand always, always forces the market and the demand is what's putting the price at where it is at, at that type of money. But it's just so beautiful. Now I am hoping because I am a mini bag lover that this walk is, it, it is settles me and I, I urge against this in my other videos and I'm aware of that. So when I decided to go ahead and buy this, it was a calculated decision. It was knowing that I always urge against buying an alternative when there's something you really, really want. But I decided to take that risk anyway. I am fairly certain that if I decide or if I find the 19 and buy the 19 anyway, I'm fairly certain that either one, there will be no problem reselling it. This I bought, as I said, from Dear Lux on Instagram. And when I had just confirmed that I would buy it, I was lucky it came up on my stories and I saw it basically right away. And when they were chatting to me, they then sent me a screenshot, not of the person's name, but just to show of another person saying they wanted to buy it literally minutes after I had bought it. And it's, ugh, I can, I get it. I absolutely get it. This tweet is, ugh, there aren't words. It, it is stunning. It is absolutely stunning. And it's in absolutely perfect condition from what I can see on the outside. The one thing I am going to say about this tweed, where's mine? See the little tweed in the background? That tweed is quite tightly woven. This one is more like it has a fuzz on it, more like a wool tweed in parts of it. I think this probably will wear slightly easier than that one will. I think there is a chance that this could pill and you would need to be careful with that. And obviously that's something to take into account with the bigger version of the 19 and the price of it. But look, like at the minute, it's in absolutely perfect condition. It has a glitter through it. If I bring it up close to the screen, through the black, it has a glitter thread. You can see it's catching the light there. And then it has the CC, woven CC intertwined that all of the 19s have. The thing that I also loved about this bag and made me think I'm going to try the walk as much as also the tweed and being drawn to the tweed. But I also really like this. So this bag comes with this little Chanel coin purse, this little black Chanel coin purse that hangs from the bag. And I think that that gives it a really funky, quite trendy, up-to-date look and add something to the walk. I think that that lift, for me, in my opinion, when I saw this hanging from it, I thought that that 
elevated the walk just a, a step higher and I just, look how cute it is. I can't even talk. I'm, I'm blabbering, I'm sorry. I, I am, I'm sorry, it, but it's just so stunning. The tweed is just so stunning. It is, a, it is a wallet on chain, that is what a walk is. And I think that whenever you're buying a walk, you have to remember that. And that was a conversation I had with myself in my head, that it is a wallet on a chain, it's not a bag. Now, I thought for myself that I was going to try this also because I'm lucky enough to have quite a few bags. So it's not as if I need this to hold a lot or I need it to be a bag for a certain occasion. It's absolutely brand new. The condition is perfect. It still has the Chanel blank cards in the back where the card slots go. It still has every single one of them in there. And then it has the zip compartment that comes with the walks. So I've just added the little coin purse on and hung it from the chain. Now obviously I'm gonna have to put the bag on and see where I want the coin purse to sit to get an idea of where I want it to hang from. But I thought that really added something to this bag. And I just, it's, oh this tweed, I'm, I can't even, there just, there just isn't words. Now I know it is a wallet on a chain, so it's small. I'm going to try it on and that's going to be really where the proof is in the pudding, whether or not this is, is a good thing for me or if I should have waited on the 19 because it is so pretty. Like the, the tweed, don't get me wrong, is stunning, but I need to see what it looks like on. And I have never ever, ever tried a walk on before. So let's go do that and see what it looks this like. This is the walk on me. For reference, I am five foot one. And if you've watched my channel before, you'll know that one of the reasons that I prefer the rectangle mini over the square is because it sits longer. And I particularly personally like my crossbody bags to sit that bit longer. I don't really like them to sit too short. So the walk, um, the walk is working for me lengthwise because it because of where it sits. Obviously, if you like yours to sit that little bit shorter, it may be a bit too long and you would need the chain shortened, but where are we? Oh my goodness me. Look at her. She's so pretty. I've lifted out my Chanel 19 as well, just to um, try on for comparison, because that's obviously the bag that was on my wish list, but is impossible and just I just have to think about that price level to be honest and I look at this hanging it's just so cute oh my goodness this is just it's just it's stunning it's absolutely stunning so let's try the 19 this is the Chanel 19 on me just for comparison you can see it sits a lot higher and it's obviously a lot bigger but it's a lot more expensive as well obviously um, and imagine it just in this tweed. I think this tweed is stunning. Like, look. She's absolutely stunning. So there we go. That is my very excited, very unable to speak, very over the top, just hyper unboxing of my Chanel walk, my first ever Chanel walk in the beautiful, beautiful beige houndstooth tweed, which I just think's absolutely, it's something else. It is something else. This tweed, Chanel has just, it's just something else. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this provided a little bit of entertainment and escapism. I hope you're well. Thank you for being here. I hope your family's well. Please take care and I will see you again in the next one.